This is Unity Temple, a Unitarian church in Oak Park, Illinois. This building is sometimes known as the first modern building in the world, having nothing to do with its religious presence, but because Frank Lloyd Wright used reinforced concrete for this entire structure, and it had not been done before. It's very different from what we normally consider as a church. There's no steeple, no stained glass windows, no entrance off the street. What happened here? The Unitarian Church came out of the Protestant Reformation. The Protestant Reformation came out of the Roman Catholic Church, which came out of the Orthodox Church, which came out of Judaism. So that's how far back the uh, origin goes. Uh, the Protestant Reformation took place in 1517, with Martin Luther posting 99 theses against the Catholic Church, mainly having to do with the selling of indulgences, or people buying their way into heaven. Since Roman Catholicism was the main religion at the time, people who were in those congregations could not understand the words of their priest who was speaking in Latin. But when the Protestant Reformation came about, the printing press was used and people could read their own Bible, could speak in their own language. In addition to that, when Protestantism came to this country, it was Jenkins Lloyd Jones, who was in the family of people in uh, Europe who created the Unitarian faith. He was also the secretary of the first parliament of the world's religions in 1893 that took place in Chicago in what is now the Art Institute of Chicago. So it was the beginning of the interfaith movement. So this is more than one faith represented here. Unitarianism with its connection with the uni Universalist Church opened their doors to everybody of all faiths. So this was a great break from the past. Jake and Lloyd Jones had this statement to say, there will be a new space, an egalitarian space, where people will all see each other and will know when there's someone new or someone missing. This is very different from those Gothic cathedrals. Everyone is seeing each the back of, of everybody else, but they have no sense of, well, who's a newcomer who's been there here forever? They'll be welcomed from all places and gather here to hear from all scriptures, to see each other, to connect with each other without the hierarchy, the exclusivism of the past, without the Gothic structure to enclose it. This new place will have worship and fellowship as equals, as it is as important to worship the divine as to connect with our fellow human beings in an attitude of grace and gratefulness. Now, Jenkins Lloyd-Jones, who was the uncle of Frank Lloyd Wright, the architect for this place, has a very wonderful architectural interpretation of Unitarianism. So he was well-versed in the beliefs of Unitarianism so looking at this structure, okay, this is not a high structure. It doesn't want to be the most important building in the community. It is about building community among the people, not to stand out. Now, it actually aligns with other buildings along this block. And so it is not to stand out, it is to fit in. The natural light here comes from the ceiling. This is known as a coffered ceiling with these spaces in it for the light to come through. The idea here is the light is to light the people, not the building. And the shape of this space is basically square. It could actually be a cube. And there is many levels of seating here, so people can easily see each other. Not only that, but the minister's stand here is part of that space. It's not a remote up on a pulpit. This minister is right with the people. This is the worship space, and this is a fellowship hall. They both have glass in the top. Although they're a little different shape, they are the same square footage. The idea architecturally is to make these equal. The entrance is right in between them. In most cases, the fellowship hall looks like a secondary space. It's either behind the sanctuary, underneath, up above, but here it's shown as equal. One, one other little detail here is that when people come into the space, either from this direction or this direction, they go into the space through two different single doors. The door takes them around the back side so they can decide where they want to sit and then climb up the stairs and sit there. Then afterwards, they go out different doors. They go out double doors which are on each side of the minister's stand. 
The idea here is you come in as an individual and go out as a community.